Make some intelligent choices in automation and you can save yourself complexity, especially with hybrid cloud. More coming up. SDR News coverage of AWS reInvent made possible by Dome 9. Total control and visibility over your cloud infrastructure, network, and host security. Garantia, the in-memory NoSQL company, offering enterprise-class Redis for developers. Encapsula, website security, always on protection from bots and DDoS and real-time stats on visitors and threats. Skillbase, leveraging MySQL and scaling out data at the speed of your business. And eMind, architecting, building, and operating enterprise-grade clouds in billion-dollar HIPAA, DCI DSS, and SOX environments. More coverage of AWS reInvent online or on the SDR News Roku channel. We are here at the reInvent, AWS reInvent floor, SDR News together with imondemand.com. My name is Ophir, and here with me is Greg, um, actually a friend, a blogger friend, you know, from the Cloud Arena. Um, uh, Greg is a VP at a company called Cloud Velocity, um, and we'll talk about that. That sounds great. Okay. So, uh, how is the show first? Uh, it's outstanding. Uh, this show has got an awesome relationship between prospects and users and vendors. And you just don't see that happen very often where there's a massive crowd of interested people and a limited amount of vendors. Usually it's the other way around. So we're very happy. We were very happy after the first hour of the show. So. Amazing, amazing. This is, you know, the Amazon show and the cloud is something that is disrupting the world. And this is, a, this is the energy that we, we, we feel here on the floor. Look out, VMworld. <laughs> Green is coming, man. Exactly, exactly. So um, what are the challenges that, you know, Cloud Velocity is actually, you know, approaching in, for the Amazon user? So uh, a, a company called uh, Osterman Research put out a, a survey of about 1,300, 1,400 enterprise executives uh, a couple weeks ago. And they identified the top inhibitors to cloud. The top inhibitors are in this order. Migration into, migration out of, uh, unpredictable costs, and the extension of security authentication LDAP services into the cloud from the data center. Those were the top, and there's others as well down. But these were all above 50 percent. So, so it was it was it was about the enterprise yes. enterprise uh, companies, right? Yes. Yeah, so when you're really talking about cloud with the enterprise, it is hybrid cloud. As much as we can get into public cloud denial, the binary cloud, you're either there, or you're not. For enterprises, they have trillions invested in existing infrastructure that they'd like to leverage with agility, protection, efficiency, that type of thing. So those are the top barriers. So what Cloud Velocity addresses is the migration into. It, it helps with choices of, uh, in terms of, it gives you options with the security and authentication services in the cloud. And we also help with security jurisdictions and other things, issues with our customers. So we address probably more than half of the top inhibitors by automating the processes and making it very easy for people to deploy physical, virtual, multi-tier environments into the cloud that otherwise would cost hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. So we, in effect, change the economics of AWS for the enterprise at the end of the day. So how do you do that? Well, what is the, you know, how is it's a team, it's a solution, it's all together? Yeah, so, you know, our, our technical team, or a lot of guys out of Neopath Network, so they were the early guys at Cisco and VCE. So when it comes to file virtualization, that happens to be a critical competency. So we have a unique way of discovering environments. Uh, you know, multiple servers, multiple services, determining what the critical services are for that environment to run, blueprinting that in the cloud, extending the services, provisioning in the cloud, while creating an SSH tunnel that allows for LDAP Active Directory authentication and snapshotting between the data center and the cloud environment so that they stay in sync. So we have continuous asynchronous differential replication with Linux today and we'll be supporting Windows first quarter of 2014. Mm -hmm. So for a lot of production apps, physical and virtual, there's simply no other feasible economical way to deploy in the cloud without the cost of re-architecting or massive costs of system integrators, consultants. We automate that so the average enterprise has the skill set necessary to do that, or the integrator can do it at a much accelerated pace. We have the only case study on this show floor of a company who's able to put 50 to 60 servers into AWS in less than a week's time with complete robust production environment. And we had the people from AWS saying there's no case study that exists from anybody of the time and speed savings relative 
to you know manual tools processes. It's amazing that we're talking about days, right? Days. It's, uh, it, it, no, to go to the cloud, into migration into the cloud, we're talking about days for enterprise. And what is the typical enterprise that you're talking about? How big, you know, Velocity is, 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 is approaching specific type, you know, size of enterprise? It, it's, we're all over, so uh, let's talk large enterprise. So we had a POC at a Fortune 100 company uh, last week. They allocated several weeks for the POC because they thought that's what it would take to move an app with 350 ma uh, mount points in AWS. We did it in a day, day and a half. So these are all kinds of directory services, storage, uh, files that were basically a day, day and a half. They've, we've changed the economics of the cloud for that company in a profound, fundamental way. And we, we're going to do it for other enterprises, small, medium and large. So Cloud Velocity will take you to the cloud in days, yeah. right? Or sometimes hours, depending on you know, size of the app, the database and the pipes. Amazing. And you know, how can we, you know, people can reach you, how do you know, Going to the website, talking with you. Cloudvelocity.com, info at Cloud Velocity, send us an email, happy to help. We, we have an offer right now just to prove what we've said, which people, the biggest problem is disbelief, but we've offered to migrate up to 20 physical virtual servers, Linux, into AWS as a free proof of concept. That would normally charge $100,000, $150,000 to many other firms. So this is, we mean business. This is cool. Yeah. This is cool. Thank you very much, man. Okay. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. All right.